security on cloud is a shared responsibility model where some part of the cloud is a responsibility of your cloud vendor like AWS, whereas others are responsibility of you as a customer. And AWS has around 15 or so services that are purely for security related, ranging from identity nexus management to detective control, infrastructure protection, data protection, incident report, and application protection. What are these? And a brief overview about all these services. We are going to cover all this in today's video. Hi, this is Atul from Team K21 Academy, where we help you in your journey to cloud and help you to learn cloud and cloud native applications. So just to give you some context, the AWS has plethora of services, like 100 plus services. And out of these services, the security related specific are the ones that are very critical for business. So in order to give this overview about these AWS security services, we have taken a clip from one of our AWS security certification training program. So let's see what our AWS trainer and expert has to say about these services. So for that, AWS has a dedicated services called AWS IAM, where it will help you to, you know, uh, help you to implement the authentication authorization. We have AWS directory service, which is again, a uh, which is again a, a identity and authentication service, which is again where you can use an on-premises directory, but you can you can migrate your on-premises directory to a directory on AWS, where you can create a directory on the AWS as well, where you can store all your employee details. And you have an AWS organization when you are working with the multiple accounts. Uh, as you can see for the, uh, you know, demo purpose or a test purpose or a learning purpose, most of, most of you must be using a single account, right? But in a, in a real time scenario, when you go to the organization level, they'll be using a multiple account. Now, how do you control the access of the multiple account? So that is where your AWS organization comes into picture. So these are the three major services which will handle your identity and access management category effectively so that you don't have to worry about the authentication authorization of a single account or a multiple account. So next set of uh, security service, what we have is the detective control, wherein it is going to detect if there is any uh, you know, uh, unprecedented activity happening in your account. Now, in an AWS account, there are several services, there are thousands of resources, there will be 10,000 of employees will be accessing it. So, it will become very difficult to, you know, you know, keep a track of everything. So, detective control, what it does is it is going to analyze any, any unprecedented activity in your account and it is going to notify you. So the services which comes under detective control is CloudWatch, where it is a, one of the dedicated monitoring services in AWS. And we have a trusted advisor where trusted advisor is going to verify your workloads based on five major categories. So that is, that will be your uh, security, cost optimization, performance, high availability and service limit. So based on this five category, it is going to, it is going to, uh, it is going to keep a check on your account. And then it is going to give you a suggestion if there is anything you can take an action. Right. So coming to the next category, we have infrastructure protection. Now I have an AWS infrastructure, like I have servers, applications, data stored in AWS. How do I protect it? For that, we have AWS Guard Duty, which is one of the detection uh, service, which is going to identify if there is any vulnerability, if there is any uh, uh, you know unprecedented activity occurring in your account. So AWS Guard Duty is a uh, you know uh, it uses a certain uh, machine learning algorithm built in machine learning algorithm to verify your account uh, and, and make sure that your account is safe and secure it is going to it is going to analyze all the locks in your account and apart from that we have aws WAF, which is a web application firewall so we will be doing a demo on the web application firewall itself so as the name suggests it is going to act as a firewall for your web-based applications through which you can block a certain ip address you can control certain requests coming into your application so next we have an VPC. So VPC is a networking in AWS, which stands for virtual private cloud, where it is gonna it is gonna safeguard your AWS infrastructure from the network perspective by implementing several you know subdomains inside the VPC. And apart from that, we have AWS Shield. So AWS Shield is a uh, is a service dedicated for distributed denial of service attack. So one of the major web attack is a distributed denial of service attack. In order to protect against this particular attack, we have AWS Shield service, right? So apart from that, coming to a data protection, for the data protection, we have a services like AWS Messy, 
so if you are storing a data in s3 i must say everybody must be knowing about s3 s3 is a majorly used data storage service in aws if you are storing a data in s3 if it contains any uh, personal data or a sensitive data aws messy is going to categorize them and safeguard them and give you a, a suggestion it is going to scan across your you know uh, uh, you know unlimited amount of data storage in s3 and it is going to give you a give you a, a alert if there is any vulnerabilities and we have aws kms which is a key management service which is used for an encryption and decryption in aws we have aws cloud hsm which is again a key management service where it is managed by you you will have to manage the hardware security model if you go for hsm if you go for kms it is managed by aws you just need to you know provision the key and you can uh, you know use the key apart from that we also have a load balancer so all the load balancer also uh, works with an encryption where the data in transit i uh, will be encrypted using an ssl certificate right so these are all services which will help you to protect your data apart from that we also have incident responses if something happens uh, how do you identify and how do you take an action so for that we have aws cloud trail so as you all know aws cloud trail is one of the service which is going to track all the activity which is happening in your account and it is going to give you the detail so no matter uh, no matter how you access it through the console through the api or the, through the cli every activity whatever you do will be in on the aws account will be tracked in the cloud trail and we have aws sns which is for a, which is which stands for simple notification service which is going to notify which is going to help you to notify on your email id or your mobile phone if some action needs to be taken care of something goes wrong in your aws account right so apart from that we also have an application protection where we have a service called aws inspector so it is going to analyze your application hosted on a ec2 server and it is going to identify if there is any vulnerabilities if there is any port opens if there is any issue with the ports or the protocols it is going to identify and it is going to bring bring it to your notice so that you can take an action automatically you can take an action manually or you can also configure a rule with the help of a lambda and you can also do an automated remediation as well so these are the plethora of security services available in aws well that was our aws cloud trainer and expert talking about the overview of basic aws security services right from identity and access management to detective controls infrastructure protection data protection incident report or incident response and application protection now this is the clip which you have taken from one of our step by step training program on aws certified security specialist where we cover this entire certification training program covering nine modules 100 plus lessons 20 plus step by step hands on lab 300 plus sample exam questions so you can clear the exam and the most important is one year on job support including cv preparation we give we cover all this in a step by step roadmap in a eight week comprehensive program on aws cloud security as i said we do a lot of extensive hands on labs so that you learn it by doing the stuff and we also give you the sample exam questions with explanation of each answer so that you understand the concepts in a detailed way and if you're a beginner in aws we give you the understanding of all the most important services in aws cloud right from compute networking storage and content delivery network databases the management tools and of course the most important security and identity management services now if you're interested to know more about this certification which is aws security certification we're planning to have a free class roughly around 60 to 90 minute class where we go and explain all the roadmap that i've mentioned and we'll cover things like cloud security professionals what and why we'll give you a brief overview about this aws cloud security certification and We'll give a demo about one of the services, which is WAF, Web Application Firewall, which is to protect your applications exposed on the internet. And if you have any questions related to career or about the certification, you can ask inside this free class. So go to this URL, k21academy.com forward slash AWS Sec02. So it's AWS and then SCC for security, AWS Sec02 and click on the register now button for the free class. Now, if you come to this page and if you see the session is over and there's a wait list, make sure you enter your name and details so that next time when we have this session, uh, you'll be the first one to know about this free class. And if you want to know anything more about any of these security services, including any question related to shared security model, leave a comment so I can help you or prepare videos around those topics.
With that, this is Atul from Team K20 Academy. Thanks for watching this video.